thank you so much for coming in at such short notice. We got a last minute appointment become available and I remember when we spoke on the phone you thought it might be quite urgent. It's not a problem. Okay, so I've pulled your paperwork out from the last time you were here but I do just need to quickly take some information from you just to confirm that nothing has changed since I last saw you. Okay, so your full name, including any middle names please. Perfect. And what is your current address? Postal code? And uh, most up-to-date telephone number. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, date of birth. Lovely. And um, just to check, I'm pretty sure this is covered under your insurance, isn't it? We've got all those details on file, don't worry. So you're in for your eye examination. So you said you thought it might be quite urgent. I assume there's a reason for, for that, has something occurred? Right. Okay. Do you mind if I just make a quick note of some of the things you're saying? Just for record, and in case we need to come back to it at a later date. Perfect. So, some flashes. How often would you say you're experiencing flashes? Okay, so it's quite sporadic. Have you noticed anything that might trigger those off at all? Um, at the time that you're watching TV perhaps, or if you've been watching for a prolonged period. A lot of people working at home at the moment, using computers, lots of screens. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. Now, you mentioned some blurredness of the eyes. Um, bit tricky to explain, but um, what degree of blurring, i.e. can you still visualise things in front of you, you could make them out, do they last for a while, the blurriness, and again, any triggers at all. I'm just going to let you speak and I will make some notes as you talk, so just feel free to give me as much information as you can. just checking. They're nice and clean, there's nothing there causing any of the blurriness. Okay, so just relax. I'll try to be as gentle as possible. So, um, if I just start with your left eye, is that okay? Brilliant. So, all I'm doing now, just feeling around the outside, 
There shouldn't be any lumps or bumps, which is fine, I can't feel. If you just go ahead and close your eye for me, I just want to run my fingers off your eye. And now I'm just going to be pressing here, yeah, just on the inside of your eye, just where your tear ducts are. Shouldn't cause any pain, it's just a slight pressure. So, there we go, why not just run my finger underneath for now? And that seems all fine. I'm just going to do the same again on your other eye, okay? So, just feeling around the outside. Any lumps and bumps? And that all seems fine. Again, just close your eyelid for me. Fantastic. Brilliant, okay. And again, I'm just going to be putting a little bit of pressure there on the tear duct. And just, there we go. And I'm running my finger underneath. And that all seems okay, yeah. No worries for that. Okay. I'm just going to um, take a good look into your eyes, um, just using a flashlight, nothing to worry about at all. I really need to just get behind the pupil, see what's going on there. Alright, so if you can open your eyes as wide as possible for me, looking straight ahead at my nose. Brilliant. And if you could just look up for me, please. And I'm just going to pull down and I'm going to shine light and if you can look down for me. Fantastic. And now I'm looking straight ahead at me again. And you can look to the uh, one slide where you choose left or right. Okay. Okay. And look to the other side for me. going to focus on your right eye now. So again, looking straight ahead. Alright. And if you can just look up, please. And looking down. Okay, and if you can just look to the side again for me. It's brilliant. And the other. Okay. I did spot a little bit of um, wear and tear. Sometimes I just get a little bit of lazy eye, especially if we're focusing a lot on screens. If you're working at home, like I said before. Yeah, what well, we can do some exercise and that's okay. Um, but before we do those, I do want to check your colours and your numbers as well. Okay, so I've got some um, element sticks here, not glow sticks, very similar. Um, and I'm just wondering if you can just tell me the colour that you see, please, as I hold those up. Okay, just get yourself comfy, it's fine. Lovely, okay. So first colour coming up. What colour? Fantastic. And the next one. Brilliant. One more for you. Are you sure? Um, one final one. Now, this one's usually, if you're going to get them wrong, this is going to be the one. Okay, so don't panic too much. It's a bit of an optical illusion on this one. Are you ready? And don't worry. As I said, um, I'm not surprised. It's one of those that um, we don't expect people to be able to get right. It's fine. Okay, so one other. I want to just check your ability to um, read the numbers. So I'm going to write 
numbers for you in different sizes. I'm going to write some large ones first of all, then some small ones and see how we get on. Okay, okay, first number. Good job. One more for you. Easy peasy on the squeeze it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to write some more numbers. I'm going to write them a little bit smaller this time, and I'm going to be moving them around the board. So you're going to have to look for them. Um, yeah, that you did right coming in. What I would say to you is, do you you couldn't have a prescription, don't you? Now I'm going to guess you're not always using it when you should be, and that could be having an effect on your eyes. Hmm. Right. First things first. You need to be wearing those glasses all the time. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of strain on the uh, lack of the retina on the nerve where I said um, I, that would be because because your eye is trying to do a job that it needs a lens for and you're not doing it. <laughs> mm. Okay, do try and give yourself regular breaks. I know it's tricky. You're supposed to be working. Um, I normally say one hour of screen, fifteen minutes away if you can. Maybe use those 15 minutes, have a walk outside, get a little bit of exercise, some food, a drink, whatever, as long as it takes you to make a brew, probably. Yeah, and it just it just helps the eyes have a little bit of rest. Um, something else you might want to use, which is some eye drops, just to add a little bit of moisture. Um, I use them regularly, put them in in the morning, they really help, especially when your eyes are quite tired. Just helps, yeah, just helps lift them up, get them ready for the day. And if you can feel the making or the blurriness comes back as well, just another couple more drops would be fine. Try that for a couple of weeks if um, things aren't improving. If you think there's still another issue, absolutely make another appointment. It's not a problem at all. We'll get you back in. Thank you so much for coming in. Okay, I'll see you soon.